I'm Jenny at Jenny Jack Farm in Pine Mountain, Georgia. Today I'm going to be talking about how we grow sweet potato slips for our farm sweet potato production. By growing our own sweet potato slips, we find that we get healthier plants at a lower cost than we could get them by purchasing them from a seed company. In the fall when we harvest our sweet potato crop, we select medium-sized, blemish-free roots to save as our seed potatoes. We then pack those into wax produce boxes and keep them somewhere where the temperatures won't fall below 55 degrees. In the spring, we plant the seed potatoes that we saved in the hoop house because the soil warms much faster in the hoop house than it would in the field. So as temperatures approach 80 degrees consistently during the day, we plant the sweet potatoes in the hoop house so they'll start to sprout. We dig a trench in the hoop house six to eight inches deep so that we can place the seed potatoes in the trench horizontally, almost touching each other. We then cover the potatoes with about two inches of soil and we keep the bed evenly moist. You don't want to keep the sweet potatoes too wet because if they stay waterlogged, they'll rot in the soil. Once the soil temperatures reach 80 degrees, the plants will start to sprout. This takes three to six weeks depending on how quickly the weather warms in the spring. We carefully watch for the first slips to emerge from the soil so we can pull those from the potato. That way the potato will continue to produce slips for us to harvest for several weeks. This is an example of a plant that is too small. We wait until they get a couple inches high with several leaves before we pull them out of the ground. So I'm just going to loosen the soil a bit, grab it an inch below the soil, and pull it away from the root. This is an example of a slip that's gotten a little too large. So when I pull it, I'm gonna trim some of this excess foliage off. That way it can put its energy into establishing these roots rather than keeping all the leaves alive. Be sure to harvest late in the evening so the tender roots won't be stressed by the hot sun. We harvest the slips every seven to 10 days and that gives us enough plants to plant in succession May through mid-July. Sweet potato plants are heat loving, so we wait until after our frost-free date in the spring to transport them from the hoop house to the field. Hilling the soil allows it to warm faster in the spring. It also produces a nice loose area for the potatoes to grow in. Our method of planting works best with two people. One person lays the slips out down the middle of the hill, 12 inches apart, and the other comes behind them with a bamboo pole and presses the roots gently into the soil just so that they're covered. If you have to plant your slips while the sun's out, it's important to keep them shaded. We put our slips into this bin and turn it over on its side so they stay shaded. Also, it's really important to water them immediately after you get them in the ground. They're gonna wilt for a little while, but if you give them sufficient water, they'll perk back up overnight. Most sweet potato varieties take about 100 days from planting until you harvest your crop. So we can plant in succession up until mid-July to ensure that we harvest our sweet potato crop before the first frost comes in the fall. Another great thing about growing sweet potatoes is the leaves are edible. So in August, we harvest the bigger leaves and sell them in half pound bags. We love growing our own sweet potato slips. We save money, it allows us to get healthier plants, and it gives us one more opportunity to save seed on our farm.